Hey there everybody, Matt Carter here. And Jessica Carter from CarterMatt.com. This video is our This Is Us Season 4, Episode 14, promo analysis, early theories and spoilers for The Cabin. We are making it here. It's usually a place of such warmth, of such happiness, of such love. Yep, there's some good memories there. And now you have Kate being stuck out in the snow because of stupid Mark. Of all people. Yep. And then you also have seeming, well, it seems like everybody's going to be at this cabin in the cold. Yeah, it seems like. It seems like maybe Mark is going to have his you-know-what kicked yeah. by uh, Kate's brothers. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> I feel like it might happen. Well, we're going to have that. I think we're going to have something maybe like warm and nostalgic with mm -hmm. what's going on with this time capsule. But that does not alleviate, like... The enormous level of concern I have in my heart that things are going to go very, very badly for the big three in yeah. the present there. But uh, before we share any of our theories, if you like this video, <laughs> give us a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other updates that we've got coming up. We already have our reaction for tonight's episode up, so be sure to check out that. Yep. All right. So let's start with this because I know that we teased this in the reaction. Percentage chances that uh, Kevin punches Mark in the face. I, I'm i thinking at least 90 or 95%. Yeah, I'm going to say 85. <coughs> and the only reason I'm saying 85 is I'm giving a good 10% chance that Randall punches uh, Mark in the face. I could actually see that as well. Yeah. That Randall just, it just overwhelms him. He's already going through some anxiousness that he may end up. Yeah. Yeah, just jumping over him and giving him a wallop. I think 100% yeah. Mark is going to get a walloping in this because I need to see that happen. Well, I think... Mark yeah. needs his comeuppance. Mark is going to get his. I don't know how it's going to necessarily happen, but Mark is... There's a reason Mark's not around. And no, I'm not suggesting that they bury Mark's <laughs> remains in the time capsule. I'm just suggesting... So that dark. I. It's a dark show these <laughs> days, people. I promise I'm not... I'm not a serial killer, but uh, no, the I, I do think that it is a really, it, it's time to get an ending to the Mark storyline. Yeah. I mean, if nothing else, to sort of understand more of what happens to Kate after everything with Mark and how mm -hmm. she gets through this and what sort of regrets Rebecca's feeling and dealing with, because she sort of talked a little bit about that in the present as yep. well. So I, I really do think that we're going to have at least some sort of ending. I don't know for sure if it's going to be the ending because we don't know if Mark comes back at any point between now and the present. Yeah, and we do have a video here at the channel talking yeah. about whether or not we think Mark is going to still be around in the present, so we'll link that for yeah. you below if you want to check that out. And we also just, there's this possibility in my head, and I'm not saying Mark's going to turn like up in, the, you know, in Kate's present, but... Mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe, because we don't see too much of these people as like really young adults, that maybe when Kate is like 25, maybe Mark shows up, is in recovery, and he's trying to, you know, make amends for his past, or he's just a jerk all over again. But for now, let's just get this jerk face out of here. I'm thinking maybe that Kate's brothers are going to make it so that Mark will not come back. I feel like you're probably correct because there's not going to be any incentive for him to come back. If it's clear that Kate doesn't want to be with him and it's clear that uh, Kevin will just punch him in the face again if he shows up, that there's no real reason for him to be back. My only worry is, is because Kate has been manipulated for these three months that they've been yeah. together and she is very impressionable by him that he is picking at her a little bit and then giving her a gift and then you know leaving her on the side of the yeah. road but giving her a blanket that it may not matter yeah. that kevin and randall decide to kick his you know what all yeah. over the cabin or that rebecca forbids it it's possible with the state of mind that kate is in that she will continue to sort of like sneak around and keep seeing him it's gonna be yeah. I think if Mark decides that he's really done with it and it's not worth it to him. And yeah. then she buries her sadness in something else. Yeah, and I, I could see her being really mad at Kevin and Randall for a yeah. little while for doing this. But while she may hate them for it at that point, she's going to love them for it later. Yeah. Because she's going to realize, oh, you guys really were just looking out for me because you love me. Yeah. And I think it's important for them to eventually get to that point. But now... 
let's get into the present because here's kind of where we stand at the moment. We know that everyone in the big three, they're all going to the cabin to reconnect a little bit. Randall has just had a very rough time. He's got that cast on his arm yep. from being the hero. Yep. Kevin has just slept with Madison. Nobody has had any discussions about that yet. That, I think, is coming up at the cabin. That is going to come <laughs> up at the cabin. And now, also, Kate knows about Rebecca's condition yep. and what's going on there. Yep, and her marriage is not doing amazing. It's a little better than it was, but yeah. it's not there. And Kevin is going to be the last to know about what's going on with Rebecca. Yeah. And we don't know exactly how that's going to sit with him. I think it's going to be really an interesting just meeting up in the first place because clearly they're all meeting up because they're all the sad three and they're having yeah. a really hard time. They're going to come together, hopefully, to lift each other up. And I think it's just going to be secret after bad thing is all just going to yeah. spill out. It's just one of those... It feels like a situation that that can all happen where it's going to be like, well, you know what I always hated about you? Oh, well, let me tell yeah. you about this. Like, those things just sometimes kind of happen when yeah. you're already emotional. Yeah, so. they do. And I'm starting to feel more and more that it's not going to be what happened with Rebecca and Randall that's going to cause the problem with Randall and Kevin. Okay, and what do you think it is? I'm not sure, honestly. I'm not saying I, have a, I don't have a fully cooked theory here, so <laughs> I apologize in advance for everyone for that. But... The thing is, I really thought it was that way, and it still is. It's still really obvious that that could be it. But it's like now Randall has an ally, and Kate, who also knows, and Kate doesn't seem to be mad or resentful about it. Well, to be fair, yeah. she hasn't actually spoken to Randall yet, and she has bigger problems at the time that she found out about it than Randall keeping that secret. I think she's still going to be pissed off about it, but. She did just be able to spend this time with yeah. Rebecca. And Rebecca actually told her, sat down and told her. I think Kevin finding out from the two of them and not actually being told by his own mom that Randall sat on this. like, And I mean, Kate just found out. So yeah. she's going to be a little more off the hook with that. I think, I just, I think this is the thing. This is a thing that could bust them up. I think it's a... I think it's a spark plug. Like, that's the best way I can think of it. I I feel like it's the thing that probably starts the conflict. But like you just said, when you get really emotional and upset, other things come out. And I feel like maybe it is sort of the snowball that gets pushed down the hill. And then it turns into an avalanche. And then everything else sort of comes along with it. But it is interesting, though. Because I was expecting the This Is Us promo to be just like this emotional waterfall of just despair and fighting and instead it's oh hey look everyone a time capsule i'm very excited to see what's going on in this time capsule because obviously it's going to be filled with some memories from yeah. the kids of whatever they've put in it the thing that i'm the most curious about that i have this gut feeling is that before it was put in, that Jack put something in there like a letter. I would not be shocked. I'm going to cry my face <laughs> off. I know. I it's That is number one on the list of most likely things that are in there. It's either... It's probably a letter. I don't think it's going to be some, like, earth-shattering secret because we've already had that with Nikki. I don't think they need to go down that road again. And no. By the way, Nikki is series regular. Nikki has not been on This Is Us in a really long time at this point. Yeah. But I, maybe he'll turn up again before the end of the yeah. season. This, I, I keep going back and forth. It's possible that the time capsule story is just complete and total misdirection and they want us to feel kind of relieved before they bring the emotional hammer and just like slam it down on us. I think the whole fight is just gonna be so intense that whatever's happening at this cabin that rips everybody apart. Yeah. That this time capsule I think is gonna be sort of I think at the beginning to sort of kind of bring us all together and give that little bit of hopefulness before it all avalanches out of control. The only one little balance. Yeah. Balance is important. Yeah. Hopefully there's balance. Hopefully. Especially with this show. This show yeah. needs to have it because they are really good at bringing out the emotions. Yes. So to have just that little bit of hope, a little bit of smile, a little bit of happiness, just something. One more tease I'll give. This is for episode 15. I just saw a few details earlier mm -hmm. today. 
Kevin and Rebecca are going to be spending time together in episode 15. Make of that what you will. Maybe Kevin finds out in 14 mm -hmm. and wants to spend time with her. Or maybe, of course. Or maybe things come about in a different way than we expect, but... Yeah, I mean, if I had somebody, like, if this situation had happened to me, I'd be really pissed off. And the first thing that I would do would go straight to my mom. Yeah, so we'll see exactly where all this unfolds. But for now, let's get your thoughts, your theories. What do you think is going to happen at this cabin? What do you think is in the time capsule? So let us know all of your thoughts in the comments. And if you like this video, give us a like, subscribe. And you can check out the link in the description if you want to support us and get a shirt kind of like the one I'm wearing. And we'll see you here next time.